so all our Pokemon will decide now. So today we will be cooking our beloved prom steak. This um, miss your restaurants and all that. So I'm here to help you out, give you a good recipe for, for you to cook restaurant standard food within your household. Um, I'm just gonna go through the ingredients. I'm gonna pair my rum steak with, with some nice mushroom sauce and, and a side of carrots. Nice, hearty and healthy meal. So yeah, let's go through the ingredients. So, for the steak, obviously you're gonna need the steak and then black pepper. I need a bit of salt and you're gonna need rosemary for your steak and then for the oil I I, I actually find it much easier to, to kind of infuse my oil with some herbs so I currently used some a bit of coriander I used um, what did I use rosemary as well I used some ground cumin and then and then I put a, a, a ginger paste in it as well um, it makes it easy when, when cooking the steak because already you one step ahead your your steak has flavor within the oil already so yeah we we also have some crushed lime adds, adds that rich taste within the, the, the steak we have a teaspoon of brown sugar and then for our mushroom sauce we're gonna use obviously mushrooms we're gonna use yogurt and, and some white German cheese and obviously to add a bit of flavor to the to the mushroom sauce we're also going to use some red onions cool so let's get to it first we start by seasoning our steak so we'll just start with the black pepper just make sure as you seasoning your your steak you also rub it rub your black pepper onto the steak so you can soak in all that, you know, all that flavor from the black pepper. Salt it up a bit. We kind of anti salt um, at my place. We don't really use a lot of salt within our food. We always have ginger and garlic. We always have black pepper for our seasoning. We just use a little bit of salt. Whenever we use salt, we actually use the Malaysian pink salt. Which currently we don't have, as you know the situation with the whole lockdown. It's kind of difficult to buy the stuff that you need. So yeah, so I seasoned my, my steak. And then while you're seasoning, obviously preheat your stove at, at uh, 180 degrees. Actually you can also put it up a bit to like 200. Just make sure that your pan is hot. Because um, um, especially if you want to get that medium rare taste, you know, make sure that your pan is very hot when you put your steak there. Cool. So cool. I think we're done. We we ready to to, to cook our steak. Um, let's just go to the stove over there. It's by Chateau de Baratas, Lodo Marca. We will try and choose one. This is actually one one of the wines I got. Like honestly, like you get more creative, and and it's actually a scientific fact. Okay, um, people who drink red wine are more intelligent. You know, they get smarter. So take my advice: get yourself a red bottle of wine. I'm not what I was smartest and not as well. Okay. 
But again, before, before the intro, let me, let me get my outfit because this thing is very hot. Uh, that was it. Cool, so this is also gonna add a little garlic, okay? You know what, I'm gonna, I'm actually gonna put this up here. Yeah, this stove is really hot. Yeah, there you go. Tap it higher to the flame because the flame is not very hot. So just add that garlic to the flame. Hey, hey, hey. So, and then you have to see the last bit. And you see. The thing we do is to give you guys a good recipe for steak. We get it on top of the bread up in here. Cool. And now, we're going a totally different um, direction in terms of taste. And a little bit of butter. And also, the butter helps in, in, in actually creating, um, how can I call it, a bit of sauce within the, the steak. Cool. So it is there. Make sure as the butter is melted that you also kind of base your steak within that butter so you can absorb all that rich buttery taste. Cool. And And then to add a bit more taste, you can add my favorite. Freshly picked rosemary. And now it's definitely going to give it that, that rich taste that we all love in a, in a proper rum steak. You can actually smell the goodness coming through from this rosemary. It, it just like honestly, it, it takes it to a totally different dynamic. Dynamic. Just for one thing, dynamic, but it takes it to a different dynamic. Cool. So, La like this is a perfect example of, of a medium race day. You see on the outside it's nice and grey, it's golden and then once it still has, has that blood, you know, that juice that we all love, um, you know that you got yourself a winner. This is a perfect, perfect rum steak. Um, even after the lockdown, you don't need to go to, you know, that place, that place where they sing those annoying birthday songs to get a good steak. You can do it yourself. Cool. So let's move on to the white sauce. Uh, basically what you need for your white sauce, you're going to need the mushrooms, of course. Um, I, I normally use um, plain white yogurt. I do know some people use milk, but nah, too much dairy. I use the, the, the white yogurt and I use the German white cheese as well. Um, for taste and flavor, obviously I'm going to put my red onion. And our good old friend black pepper. Remember, I told you in my household we normally use black pepper and really use salt, just a bit of salt. So cool. I think that's it. Oh, oh yeah. Um, I'm also gonna use a bit of of brown sugar, and we're good. Cool. So let's go make our white sauce. My pet. So now like I said, like I always cook with my wine, it, it, it makes cooking more interesting. By the way, cooking, cooking is actually fun, I enjoy cooking, but you know with your wine, man, it gives you that little bit of, you know, um, that extra little bit of oomph, you know, you want to go the extra mile, you want to experiment, because basically cooking is about experimenting, you know. We all buy the same food from the same places, but our food tastes different because we experiment different, you know, so that's where the difference is. So yeah. Our white sauce. And and just remember this show is actually for you guys, so you're more than welcome to steal the the recipes, you know. And and with that said, that's all you guys shouldn't book at home family restaurant anymore, seeing that you can make your own food now. Um, but yeah, I'm kind of helping you guys out during this this um, trying time. I know most of you miss going out to restaurants. But cool. 
oil.